grocery store this morning and I bought <laughs> obviously I bought groceries but I spent like 30 minutes dicing up a bag of onions I'm an onion lover but I love to put onions in everything anyways so I was watching the Trisha Betas podcast <laughs> sorry about that She's like really problematic Not so much anymore Like she has a problematic past But I don't know I just can't I can't get enough I really just like prefer Prefer the hot takes Like her Tuesday videos I'm not like really A podcast listener that likes to Watch like Interviews Like if it's somebody that I want to see Be interviewed then I'll watch it But like I don't typically like gravitate towards that kind of content like people who always have other people on their podcast <laughs> i recently shaved my eyebrows i shaved the ends off i've been loving it though i've been loving like the short eyebrow look i think it makes me look younger <laughs> anyways i also do feel like everybody has a podcast nowadays and i felt like podcasts were more of like an exclusive like elusive exclusive i don't know but podcasts just used to be so different but now every single person has one and i'm like okay and like my biggest pet peeve is like people who have multiple podcasts with like multiple different hosts like come on like what do you really have to talk about you know what i'm saying i don't know it's just it's kind of like i don't know like the influencer movement how like everybody became an influencer and it's like now everybody is like becoming a podcast person also for the makeup look i'm going for i'm doing this look that i saw on tiktok girl i don't know how it's gonna go but i'm gonna try my best because it's not something i like typically do so i don't know i don't listen to like many podcasts on like the podcast app or on spotify i was really into call her daddy for the longest time and i that's like what i hate about people that get like too famous is that they like switch up and like kind of forget like who they were and i feel like that's what happened with alex cooper obviously like she had a falling out with sophia and she just like wanted to make a name for herself which i totally understand but now all she does is like interview people and it's nothing like what it used to be like it was like pretty much like girl talk like you know like a girl talk podcast which was like the first of its time which was super iconic and i think that's why it was so popular because it had like a host that wasn't afraid to like push the like social norms and you talk about like what us girls talk about you know what i'm saying and then you know she had that falling out and blah 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 and now it's just like her in her mansion like interviewing random celebrities and i mean like get your bag absolutely like i'm all for that but why did you like switch up who you were and then i guess she, i unfollowed her not too long ago just because like it wasn't something that i was watching anymore I mean, I watched Julia Fox, like the Julia Fox interview. That was like one of the first people that she was interviewing. And um, that, that was pretty good. But Julia Fox is just like an entertaining person. So I watched that. But then she like had like John Mayer and um, Cole Sprouse, like the most like random people. And obviously, like, I know who John Mayer is, but, okay, tell me how many people are still thinking about John Mayer, you know, and so I had to, like, un 
or like when I see that happen to people, like when someone's like, oh, like an influencer is like, oh, I'm moving to LA, I will automatically unfollow them because I know the type of content that they're about to start making is going to be like full of ads and just like nonsense, like non-relatable stuff. And we follow people because we can relate to them in some aspect. Like, I'm not sure if anybody knows about Terry Joe, a, like a super popular kind of character on TikTok who's played by like this guy. And like, obviously I followed because like Terry Joe is hilarious. But I also followed because Keelan, the person who plays Terry Joe, is just so relatable. Like we're both from Texas and you know, like during like his start, he worked at Amazon and like worked at these like dead end jobs and that's relatable. You know what I'm saying? But now he's like moving to LA and like hanging out with all these other influencers and maybe I'm just too old, but he's like the same age as me, which is like so strange, but that's not the kind of stuff like I relate to. In my opinion, it's not like 2016 anymore where we're like, you know, on summer break, a little Christmas break, like watching these YouTubers and stuff. Like, I don't know. That's just always how I felt when an influencer who's like grounded and themselves like moved to California. I don't know what it is, but they just change. Anyways, <laughs> I probably sound like the biggest hater, but I don't mean to. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure the death of like influencers is coming because we are all kind of on the same page that like influencers are so out of touch and just not relatable. You know what I'm saying? And I love that. If I am a hater about one thing, excuse me, that was my throat, it is influencers. Like, they're so out of touch and just unrelatable, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's kind of, like, reaching that point where, like, de-influencing is in and, like, every ad on it, like, every post that influencers are making is, like, an ad, which is, like, something that I saw really, really huge in the ASMR community because there has been a creator that I've followed for probably seven years, absolutely amazing ASM artist in every sense of the word, and she just stopped posting for a while, and she was just like, oh, you know, I'm just going through things, blah, 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 blah. So every time she posts, she posts, it's an ad, it's literally a sponsored partnership video of her doing a video with this like one specific company and that's every single video and so like the first like 10 to 15 minutes of her video is a sales pitch for this product and I'm like girl like we're in a fucking recession read the room like nobody's going out and buying this shit <laughs> same with like bloom and first of all like you shouldn't even be drinking powdered greens like don't get me started on that, but like everybody's pushing bloom and it's like, it's so good for you. It's so good. And I'm like, do you even know like what this is? Like, do you even know what this is supposed to be for? Anyways, that was my rant. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
shop got taken down like you're literally the one people like you don't want to mess with is like disney and people are surprised when they're like have like mouse merch and shit like that it's just crazy like how people just don't hear themselves i guess Shadow on which is a fun part of this video. So I think that's good. I still need to like do 
eyeshadow. Okay, so the look that I saw on TikTok, but they had like this vibrant pink eyeshadow, and I don't know if this is gonna work on me. Okay, this is the Morphe. 3503 palette. That's what it looks like. Very vibrant. I'm gonna use this. Oh, this pink right here. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. And they just like put it in their inner corners. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys. Just put it in their inner corners. Maybe this is not. I've seen so many people look anyways like in particular supposed to be like a pop of color. 
makeup looks that I saw on like YouTube. The, be the beauty guru era was like such a time to be alive. And these kids these days will not understand what that was like. <laughs> 